Hello everyone, I'm Finlay, one of the Operations Training Managers based at Hornsey Training Academy. Today we're going to take a ride from Finsbury Park to Moorgate to look at the changes from ETCS version 3.4 to 3.6. The biggest differences to you as a driver is the introduction of time to indication on target speed monitoring. I'll explain more on these as we drive towards Moorgate. The process for entering level 2 remains the same. You have now transitioned into ETCS Level 2. As we approach Drayton Park, you'll see a grey box has appeared at the top left of the DMI. This means we have entered something called Time to Indication. Looking at the planning area, we can see the yellow bar currently near the end of authority. This is called the Indication Marker. Time to indication is dynamic and is based on the train's current speed as it approaches an upcoming risk, whether it be for an end of authority or a speed reduction. In this instance, we are in time to indication for the end of authority at Drayton Park. Put simply, the faster the train is moving, the quicker the time to indication box will appear. In the top left corner, we can see a white square has appeared in the time to indication box. As we get closer to target speed monitoring, the white square will grow until it fills the box. At this point, we enter target speed monitoring. We are now in target speed monitoring for the end of authority, with a release speed of 18 miles per hour. You can see our movement authority has now stepped up in this case by around 1700 metres. From here, it's very much business as usual in terms of train driving. You control your speed and station stops. There is a grey bar hugging the outside of the speedo. This is called your speed hook, and you must always keep your speed needle on or below this speed hook, in this case at 30 miles per hour. This is where ETCS is permanently monitoring your train. So if you were to overspeed, you would see a visual warning, initially orange in colour, and you will also get an audible warning. If the driver took no action at all and ignored these warnings, the speed needle would turn red, followed by a more urgent audible warning. If the driver continues to speed after this, the system will take control and put the brakes on. Throughout this run towards Moorgate, we'll see instances of time to indication in action. You may notice the dynamic nature of time to indication. For example, if you're driving slower under the target speed, time to indication will take longer to build to target speed monitoring. As we pass through Old Street, currently our end of authority is at Yankee Alpha 4104, the block marker board protecting Moorgate. We should be expecting our time to indication soon and be ready to bring our train to a stand 20 metres from the end of authority. Our movement authority has now stepped up to the buffer stops at Moorgate. In the planning area, you can see a couple of downward arrows with a number. These indicate a reduction in the target speed. First, 20 miles per hour, then down to 10 miles per hour, and finally 5 miles per hour for the approach to the buffer stops at Moorgate. As we are travelling above 20 miles per hour, we can see that the EVC has prioritised this as the next risk, as the 20 is highlighted in yellow. As we approach the speed reduction to 20 miles per hour, the time to indication box has started to build once again. In the message pane, we can see the text route D. This indicates we have been routed into the down platform at Moorgate. The speedo and needle have now turned yellow and the target distance bar has appeared. We now need to reduce our speed to 20 miles per hour. The driver must control the speed of their train accordingly. Very shortly after we enter target speed monitoring, it has adjusted from a reduction to 20 miles per hour to 10 miles per hour. This is the dynamic nature of timed indication and target speed monitoring in version 3.6. As we continue into Moorgate, we get another time to indication occurrence for the 5 miles per hour approaching the buffer stops.
The end of authority at Moorgate is at the buffer stops, and you do not need to approach the buffer stops any differently than we do normally. As usual, we aim to stop our train six foot away from the buffer stops. Once we complete our journey, we immobilize the desk as normal. Thank you for watching.